All right, so we're looking at the habitat wherein Milo lives, and on the left, that's his his uh, warm hide, the brown shape, kind of fake rock. And then there's this kind of like tree stump he climbs on, and then on the right, you can see. And I'm going to move the camera so you can see it better. You can see a kind of a, a rectangular structure as a uh, Kleenex box. So as you can see, there's a Kleenex box there now. We have them, uh, the ball pythons, in plastic bins because it holds humidity better and it creates a, a less clear look to the outside and they feel more secure that way according to everything we've read. And definitely the humidity that we would like to maintain for them is easier with the plastic containers. So you're looking at a Kleenex box. Now I'm going to move the camera again. So you can see one end of the Kleenex box, there's no holes cut in it. The same goes for the sides, because you, right now it's standing on a, I guess, a, how would you describe that? The le it's it's in, a, in the second least stable position to be in. If it was sitting on the end that you're looking at right now, that would be the least stable, because it would be tall and, you know, easily toppled. Right now it's on the second least stable, so <laughs> the funny part about this is the whole through which the snake crawled is now on the floor. So he can't get out. We have to open it up and let him out. So, because these guys are, well, if they escape, who knows where they go and their fate would be pretty much uh, dead snake in a few weeks. We kind of lock them in take a Houdini snake to get out. Okay. Yep, he's definitely in there. Oh. How he got himself so that his However, Milo managed to get himself into the box with the hole on the floor so he was permanently trapped because there's no way we can imagine he would have realized that I have to go through that hole in the floor so I have to knock my box on its side because normally it would be resting in the position it's in now. So maybe we need to put the hole... Well, it's hard to put the hole at the end of the box though because the box tends to disintegrate but we may have to rethink this because we can't have the snakes trapping themselves. Oh, his head's looking out now. He's starting to have a peek. There it comes. He's investigating. And, you know, this fellow's still eating. His buddy, though, isn't eating. He isn't. We were just looking at the calendar. He has not. Iggy hasn't eaten since November the 18th, 2013. So it's like, uh, what was that? Two, three, four, five, five months? But six months now. Six months at the end of the well, at the eighteenth of May, it'll be six months. Yeah. So Milo could be female. So we're thinking Milo might be a girl, and that's maybe why Iggy's not eating. Because I was reading that uh, they don't, uh, depending on what time of the year it is, breeding and all that, the males stop eating when there's an opportunity to breed. So maybe that's why he stopped eating because he hasn't eaten since Milo showed up. So we don't know.